just a couple uh, supplementary pointers to go along with our Thunder and Earth technique that we're working on this week. Um, these are going to show you how to take the movements that you've already learned and uh, what you want to emphasize and think about as you're doing them to make it truly effective as a self-defense technique. Okay, so I'm going to have uh, my trusty attacker here come in and he is attacking with that two-hand grab like we talked about. And as you'll recall, the first thing we do in this technique is the pin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he still got me. That's no good. So what I need to do is I need to make sure that when I grab him, I'm actually getting control of him. So the way that works, I come in with these hands, and instead of just grabbing onto his arm or onto his fists, I want to pin tight. Now, did you see what happened to him? Look how he's leaning forward. It bent his elbows a little bit. Let's do that again. Pay attention to this. Pin. Okay. Now, while I've got him pinned, I'm going to quick step back. And again, look what happens to his body. Now, he's unbalanced and ready for your kick. Okay. So, as you're practicing this one, make sure you're getting those pins and you're going to want to lean forward just a little bit to put a little more pressure on the wrist as you do that step back. Practice that. And when we come back to class and you try this on a partner, you'll find it's going to be a whole lot more effective.